Okay, now we're going to look into how you can set up SMSC gateway to send messages from your S7 simulator through the Telscale gateway to a SIP phone and also doing the same from the SMPP simulator through the Telscale gateway to a SIP phone. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that SIP is correctly configured on the uh, SMP SMSC gateway so as you can see here we've got the SMSC gateway admin UI so you go into SIP and you've got a SIP profile already configured for you this is uh, the default information you would see but you need to make sure this is exactly correct so just check for the address range here it says 5555 which is the number you would need to add as a contact in your SIP phone and also you need to make sure that you're using the correct IP address in this case we're using the loopback address IP address of the local server and it's list it's listening on port 5065 so those are the information you need and the first step is to start a SIP phone I've got Jitsi already installed I'm just going to start Jitsi and configure Jitsi okay cancel this to configure Jitsi tools options you click on add in the account tab scroll down to SIP select SIP and here you add the contact number 5555 you click on advanced let's bring that into focus and you click on the tab connection here change the port to 5065 and uh, this is all you need to do from the account registration wizard you click on next sign in okay it says it is online next you need to go to the advanced tab click on SIP and make sure this is normally 5060 so make sure this is the SIP client port is 5065 and once you're done you can close this and the SIP phone is ready to receive messages the next step you need to now do is start the simulator we're going to first of all start the um, SMPP simulator and to do that you run the shell script click on configure you can leave this as default and then click on run test here before you could do that we're just going to click on configure data for message submitting and here I'm just going to uh, add additional message to the text window so I'm just going to say SMPP2 SIP phone make sure the source is 6666 and the destination 5555 which is our SIP phone you validate that and now you can start the session session says successfully started and you can just click on submit message and this message will appear as you can see here it appears hello SMPP to SIP phone so that is your message from your SMPP simulator to the SIP phone now we're going to do the same from the SS7 simulator so I'm going to start the SS7 simulator in the GUI mode You, you just leave that as default click on start everything here can be left as default all the layers just leave those as default and click on run test when you get to this window click on start 
at the moment it says disconnected in a few moments it would say connected it takes a few moments to do that just wait a minute connected so we're ready now to use our SS7 simulator we send a message hello SS seven two now the destination is the same five 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 source we use six 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 and you click on send forward short message and then you click on send alert service and then the message should appear see so we have hello s7 to sip phone that is how you configure your simulator to send messages from both s7 simulator to a sip phone the next step will be sending a message back from a sip phone to your SS7 simulator and the SMPP simulator and that's what we're going to look into in the next section sending a message from a SIP phone through Telscale SMSC gateway to the SMPP simulator can be achieved in this way first of all you've got your SIP phone, the same GC phone we've already used and if you click here where it says send message this by the way is the contact information of the message that was received so you click on that and you can type your message here but we need to start the simulator first so run test we're just going to use the default information so as you can see it's already started next we move to the messaging window so hello that's all that needs to be done and just pay attention to what will happen here so let me just move this to the center of the screen so there you have it the message hello from GTC phone to SMPP simulator has been received and that is how easy it is to send message from a SIP phone through Telscale SMSC gateway to the SMPP simulator.